Trapped. Ooh, yeah. Oops, did I really sing that? Ha. Huh. Yeah, but we are oftentimes trapped because of unforgiveness. Yeah. Trapped in our minds, trapped in our spirits, trapped in life because of unforgiveness. Yeah. And it's so easy for us to think that we are justified and we're right. And oftentimes we may be right to be upset or be right in feeling betrayed or right thinking, I mean, how could they have done that? That's so unfair. But even though we may be right, and even though it really makes sense why we are mad and we feel so hurt and disgruntled and you name it, it still doesn't justify unforgiveness. Because guess what? The word of God tells us that we should forgive 70 times 7. It is one of God's requirements for us to live a proper, clean, righteous Christian life. We ought to be persons who forgive. So while you feel justified, and while you feel like, yeah, they don't deserve my forgiveness. Yeah, I don't have to talk to them. You know what? I'll just keep my distance. You know what? Until I die. Yep. I know we've all said that. But guess what? It is imperative that we forgive. Because what's interesting, you know, what's interesting is that forgiveness not only frees you, but it also frees the person. I keep saying this word and it's my word. My friend made it up and I run with it. It's called forgiveness. It's a gift to you and a gift to them. Yeah. Because really and truly, when you forgive someone, the weight comes off your shoulder. That's the truth. The weight comes off your shoulders. And also, the person is free to live. The person is... And, and <laughs> you know what's interesting? Let me tell you what's interesting. Sometimes we are holding people in our hearts and in our pockets and wherever we hold them. And they are living free and happy. And they are enjoying the blessings of the Lord and they are enjoying life. While you, you are bound. You are not free. You cannot get to be. You are trapped in a box, trapped in your mind, trapped in your spirit. You are trapped while those persons are living scotch-free, enjoying life, eating, gaining weight, and feeling nice in life. Does that even make sense? If you ask me really, I'd say it's a waste of time. Unforgiveness takes away from the joys of life. Unforgiveness takes away so much from you. And when there is lack of trust, then there's going to be a very uncomfortable ear if you are where the person is or have to do any dealing with the person. You are going to be most uncomfortable. While the person has no issue. And in the case where the person actually has an issue and knows that they're, un they're not forgiven, then you too hold the person at ransom. You hold them at ransom and they can't get to live. They can't get to be free. They can't get to be happy. They can't get to enjoy the blessings of the Lord. That is not fair. So here's my suggestion, and it's a humble one. Because I myself grappled with unforgiveness at one point. But the moment I forgave, oh, redemption, redemption came, redemption came. And I was free, literally like a bird in the tree. Yeah. And the same can happen for you if you forgive. So my suggestion to you, free your mind. And the peace of God will follow. Forgiveness time. Don't worry about tomorrow. And I know sometimes when you forgive, somebody might see you and say you look like a fool. And probably call you a fool. And say, me, or me, when I forgive them, let them stay there. But here's my word to you. Forgive. It's a gift to you. And it's a gift them. 
Cause you don't want to be trapped. Ooh yeah, eh, eh, eh. You want to be free to live for the Lord. Free to serve him with a true heart. I'm not saying you hell. I'm just saying. <laughs> forgive your family. Forgive your friends. Forgive your neighbors. And forgive. What does the scripture say? Let's close with that. And be kind one to another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Amazing. And you want God to forgive you? Then you're going to have to forgive somebody else. Yeah, it's a cycle. Be a part of it. Blessings and have an outstanding family month. Oh my goodness, you'll be free. Free your mind.